this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today we're going to take a look at some new color by number books that I uh, came across recently. I have three of the books in the series. There are more. I will tell you about those at the end. So we're going to take a look at these. Um, they're all by the same company which I don't think they give their name in the books. No, nope. they don't they don't put their company name in the books. So it's just some guy in a computer who came up with these, but they're fun. Uh, so give them a chance as I show you what they look like. So we'll do Criminal Minds last because it's different than these two. So start with Queen and here we could, if you take a look at the picture, it gives you an idea of what you're going to do inside. And these are going to be pop art. So you're going to be using uh, primary colors and um, basically, you know, out there colors. We're not coloring these uh, skin tones. On the back, there is a selection of colors. This is not the uh, color palette that's inside. You'll find colors that are not on here inside. I think that's just representative of color by number. Nice covers anyways. This is Amazon paper so we know what to expect from that. It's copyrighted 2020 but it doesn't help if they don't tell us it's not copyrighted if they don't say who it's copyrighted to. I could say I, it's copyrighted by me. So that's something that the uh, book authors need to take a look at. Here we have uh, this book belongs to Paige and we have a colorable color by number on here but unless this is in the book somewhere we won't know what colors to color it because they're different on every page. Now we have the we have kind of like the um, I don't know how to explain it but you can see um, here I'll show you a bigger one let's get into the book where we have a face. You see their um, negative images of the face or just where the shadows would land or um, sections of faces and that's what you get throughout it. You get pages that are just of the band members and you get pages that have that have uh, two or more members of the band in there and it just goes on and on for different uh, pictures of them. So this is for someone who likes Queen and I'll show you an example of a picture that I did. So I did this one here which is uh, obviously Freddie Mercury. Uh, I decided to pick a loud <laughs> pink there but uh, it turned out wonderful. I love it and this is the way that the rest of the book goes. Each page has a completely different palette and um, some of the colors are the same, others are different. They're um, easy to obtain colors. This one has slate blue but there's no reason why you can't do it any blue that you want. Pink, brown, black, tan, yellow, peach. Well, let's take a look at another one orange, maroon, and I'm sure you can use any dark red for that, pink, cyan, gray, black, and yellow. So that's what Queen looks like. I'll just put it on the bottom. Okay, so the Beatles is the same deal. If you look on here, you can see that they're not colored proper colors. Uh, there are a little bit more, skin tones are used in this book, so they're a little bit more realistic, but they're still what I would call pop art. Now the back of this one shows you two examples of puzzles, and it just has six random colors on the back. Those are, that's not the palette. Who knows why those are there. For decoration, Again, this book is copyrighted to nobody. The color page, this one has a, a palette on the bottom, so it's colorable. And if we get into the book, it's the exact same thing as the last one. We have partial images of the faces in this book. Sorry for my shadow, the light. It's a very dreary day today. 
So we've got members of the of, of the band. We've got the band all together. We've got two, you know, two of them, and just various poses throughout the whole book. Now I'll show you one that I did. Of course. Well, there you go. Isn't that magnificent? I absolutely love it. So these are the two band uh, singer books that I got. They do have... Um... Oh, okay. The other singer that they have is Michael Jackson. Not a fan, but they do have a book by him, which I'm sure lots of you would like. And then this is one of two TV shows that they have. The other TV show that they have besides Criminal Minds is uh, The Walking Dead. Never watched it, so this is the one I got. Now this is done in realistic colors, but the pictures themselves are uh, can be a little bit obscure. The one we're looking at on the front cover is just a normal picture. The back cover of this one, again, has random colors on it, possibly give you an idea of what you find inside. That is not the color palette of the book, though. Again, the book is copyrighted to nobody, and this time we have a colored-in picture, we could say. It's grayscaled, so that we see what a picture looks like when it's not done. I mean, when it is done. Now, I'll just tell you, this is the one I did, and I didn't get my color right for number one because, well, I don't know. We'll have to see what it looks like on screen. <laughs> okay, so copyrighted to nobody. We have the This Book Belongs To, on with my darling, on the front cover. We have a test color page this time, and we can see what the... Uh, palettes are like. Now the palettes in this one are more um, more similar. There, there are different colors that are used, but um, I noticed that they continually use um, dark brown, light brown, dark tan, light tan, dark gray, light gray, that sort of thing. They've got light red, dark red, and um, there's a lot of browns used in this, so make sure you have browns if you want to do it. And I will show the page that I did, and are you ready for the hottie? It is Morgan. Oh yeah, it looks much better on camera than it did looking at it. But it looks better now than it did when I did it. <laughs> so yeah, I just, um, I just, I didn't pay too much attention to the browns that I was picking. Um, there's a light tan and a dark tan, so I just got two tannish toned light browns, really, and picked a, a lighter and a darker one. Uh, light, light and dark brown is used in here, so um, I figured let's go with the darkest brown I have, and that was this one, and then I just picked a brown that was lighter. Dark and gray, dark and light gray, again, same thing just picked one of my grays that was lighter than the other one and called them light and dark gray. Now the other color that was used on here, which is weird, and I haven't seen anywhere else in the book, so I think I just picked this one. Oh, you know what? Looks like at the back of the book they start being the same. No, they don't. So yeah, the color palettes are different. It told me to use silver. I don't have a silver alcohol marker, so I just picked a, a light gray that was lighter than the gray that I picked before. <laughs> so I think that these are really nice coloring books. They have more. So they have Queen, Beatles, and Michael Jackson as singers. TV shows, they have Criminal Minds and The Walking Dead. And then they have a bunch of people that I don't know who they are. So I'm imagining that they're singers or actors from a uh, popular current TV or music singers. <laughs> I, I don't know who they are. But I'm sure many of you will know who they are. So yeah, I would say these books are for collectors. If you um, collect the, the the band or the show, or fans, 
or people who are really into color by numbers, which would hand raise. That's me. <laughs> so there you go. I hope that has uh, introduced you to something that you may be interested in purchasing. And if you do, there is a link down below to my Amazon uh, affiliate link to all of these books and just click on the author's name which is listed there though not in the books and you'll see the rest that are there on offer so thank you for watching and goodbye <laughs>